There's an old saying, you're, you're as old as your arteries, you're as old as your arteries. If your arteries are supple and wide open, you're a young person no matter what the date is on your birth certificate. And if your arteries are stiff and all clogged up, you're an old, old man or an old, old woman uh, no matter when you were born. You want to take care of your arteries. <clears throat> High blood pressure is hard on them. Let me be a physician here and show you exactly how the high blood pressure damages your body. It's hardest on the very delicate tissues in the body like the retina of your eye. This is an amazing structure, of course, lets us convert light into vision. And the cells of the retina um, are really remarkable. This is what the doctor sees when we have you on the exam table and we turn the lights down, we take our ophthalmoscope and we're looking in the back of your eye. This is what we're looking at. This is the retina, this is the optic nerve, and the, uh, the retinal artery comes in with the optic nerve. It has four branches to it and it delivers highly oxygenated blood to these very active cells out in the retina and you need them to see. But these arteries, and these, they're divided into small and small arterioles and fine little capillaries. They're very fragile, one cell thin. They do not stand up to high pressure. Well, you slam a pressure wave, heartbeat after heartbeat, against these very delicate blood vessels. And as the years go by, some bad things happen. That lovely architecture turns into something like this. <clears throat> these yellow, these uh, red blotches here, these are retinal hemorrhages. Uh, you are looking at bleeds inside the uh, retinal tissues, and wherever this has happened, oxygenated blood that was going to the retinal cells is now just leaking out into the, uh, into the surrounding area. The retinal cells dependent upon that blood flow die from lack of oxygen, and as a result, you get retinal scars uh, throughout the, uh, uh, the uh, visual area, and the person develops blind spots. Uh, this is hypertensive retinopathy. This is is why people with uncontrolled high blood pressure go blind. You don't want to flood your tissues and make them sticky because everything in the body becomes sticky. The hemoglobin in your blood becomes sticky with sugar. The elastic fibers in your skin become sticky with sugar. The inner lining of your blood vessels become sticky with sugar. The lens of your eye becomes sticky with sugar. Not a good thing. Why? Well, this man told us why. This is Henri Maillard. Henri Millard was a French chemist that was hired by the French baking industry in the 1880s to help them understand the chemistry of baking bread. What happens when we bake bread? The bakers wanted to know. Well, it didn't take Millard very long to figure out what happens when you bake bread. He says, what happens? When you bake bread, you take sugar, the pastry flour, and protein, wheat gluten, and you put them together and heat them up. Sugar plus protein plus heat and that creates what's called the Maillard reaction. You know the effect of the Maillard reaction. You see it every time you look at a loaf of bread. This is what makes bread brown. This is Maillard protein. This is the result of the Maillard reaction. Well, that's all well and good, I guess, on a French baguette, but you do not want to run the Maillard reaction in your own tissues, and it happens. There's plenty of protein around, it's not gluten, it's your albumin and your fibrinogen and your collagen and the, fib and the proteins in throughout your body. You then flood them with sugars from that candy bar or that soft drink, and your body supplies the heat. We're all 98.6 degree ovens. This is the three components of the Maillard reaction. And the Maillard reaction happens, and those lovely collagen fibers and elastic fibers and albumin uh, in your bloodstream undergo the Maillard reaction. They turn from these individual protein strands to this mass of oxidized, bastardized, stiff uh, proteins that are really not good for anything. The scientists, uh, the chemists tell us, well, you've created an advanced glycation end product. Don't worry about the name. Remember the initials. A-G-E, this ages your tissue. Eating sugar as a food ages you. It's one of the major factors about why we don't age so well because of what we're eating. Now, this has some consequences. Run the Maillard reaction on the elastin fibers in your skin. In your skin, you got, you got spiral proteins called elastin that give your skin its spring and its elasticity. Well, you run the Maillard reaction on them by flooding them with sugars, <clears throat> and those elastic fibers become stiff, and they begin to crack and break and oxidize, and the skin ages. 
you run the Maillard reaction in those nice clear proteins in your, the lens of your eye and that sets you up for forming cataracts. This is no joke, folks. You don't want to eat this stuff and flood your system with sugars. And you sure don't want to run the Maillard reaction on the inner lining of the capillaries of your brain. This is the membrane across which oxygen has to get to uh, supply the brain cells with oxygen. It's really important not to run the Maillard reaction haphazardly in your body. Eating sugar as a food ages you.